The Civic Formation Incorporated, crisis in the nonprofit sector, charities, private foundations, churches, et al. by R. F. Edwards, All Rights Reserved, 2010. The purpose of this presentation is to encourage all nonprofit entities to re-examine their organizations for ignored efficiencies, private inurement, conflict of interest, etc., harmful to their mission and life cycle. Also included are object lessons one through five for you to review in more detail. The Civic Formation Incorporated, founded in 1991. The Civic Formation Incorporated is a nonprofit 501c3 organization whose purpose to educate and train nonprofit administrations regarding transparency, accountability, and compliance mandates. For further information about the organization, go to civicformation.org. Introduction. Then it states. Crisis is a process of transformation where the old system can no longer be maintained. Therefore, the defining quality is the need for change. Apart from natural crises that are inherently unpredictable, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, etc., most of the crises that we face are man-made. Example number one. One fourth of nonprofits are to lose tax breaks. New York Times by Stephanie Strong, April 22, 2010. As many as 400,000 nonprofit organizations are weeks away from doomsday, essentially because they failed to file a 990 form for three consecutive years. However, the IRS has clearly indicated that all organizations who may or are in this particular category file their 990s anyway. Example number two. The Chronicle Philanthropy, June 25, 2009. Madoff Foundation victims lack adequate board size, says report. Of the 150 or so nonprofit organizations affected by the Madoff Ponzi scheme, 105 lost from 30% to all of their assets. The major lesson is pretty clear, says Aaron Dorfman, the committee's executive director. Small homogeneous boards were much more likely to fall prey to Madoff's Ponzi scheme. Example number three. The New York Times, April 23, 2010, 18.5 million in liability for scouts in abuse cases. The Boy Scouts of America were ordered Friday to pay 18.5 million in a lawsuit that has focused new attention on the secret files the Boy Scouts kept to document claims of sexual abuse by troop leaders and volunteers. They hit the problem, Paul Mons a lawyer from Mr. Lewis said in closing arguments on Thursday, by hiding the problem, more abuse happened. We encourage you to read much further into this article. Example number four, minister pleads guilty to bilking church members of $1 million. A Pennsylvania man pleaded guilty Thursday in federal court for his key role in operating two Ponzi schemes that built members of the Church of Grace of Peace for more than one million dollars, officials said. Example number five, the Chronicle of Philanthropy, September 14, 2007. Connecticut pastor pleads guilty to stealing money from his church. A Darian Connecticut pastor admitted to stealing possibly more than one million from parishioners of the St. John Roman Catholic Church reports the Darien Times. Impact of the Crisis The New York Times, March 29, 2008 reports sketches crime costing billions 
Theft from Charities by Stephanie Strong. This, re this report, 2006, puts the estimated cost of theft at $40 billion of roughly $300 billion given to charities that year. A recently released survey by the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners indicates that there is an increasingly widespread lack of internal controls in place in nonprofit entities. Fundamental duties of a board member. Duty of care. Board member must not permit the organization to violate the law or put itself at risk of legal liability. Prudently manage the finances and resources of the organization. Duty of loyalty. Board members must avoid using their positions or the organization's assets in a way that would result in inappropriate financial gain for themselves or any members of their family or friends. Duty of obedience. Mission statement. Are the activities consistent with the charitable purpose? Bylaws. Are we following our bylaws? External laws. Are we aware of and following state and federal requirements? Lack of internal controls is one of the increasing deficiencies in the nonprofit sector. Refer to examples one through five. Without risk management training, practice, and a clear operational policies, nonprofits will continue to be vulnerable to all forms of malfeasance, predatory conduct, etc. The Civic Formation Incorporated's consulting services include, but not limited to, training workshops for the executive board of nonprofits, fundamental principles for good governance, ethical conduct, infrastructure assessment, i.e., mission, bylaw evaluation, risk management, strategic recommendations for protecting your organization and assets, etc. Consulting services can call 908 222. 8716. This is for consulting services only. No questions. Volunteer opportunities do exist, and if you're interested, please contact us at civicformation at gmail.com. We look to hear from you. References Crisis Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, IRS Government, Automatic Revocation for Not Filing Annual Return or Notice. Learning from Madoff, Lessons for Foundation Board, National Committee for Responsive Philanthropy, 2002 Sarbanes-Oxley Act, 2006 the Pension Protection Act, and the new version of the IRS 994.